Good afternoon, everyone. This is Michael O'Malley here with the off-season edition of the Hurricane Outlook and Discussion for May the 4th, 2020, recorded around 4.25 p.m. Eastern Time. Well, since the last time we talked, the Equatorial Pacific, uh, especially the Nino 3.4 region, which is roughly located about here, has continued to show a decline in the sea surface temperatures and the sea surface temperature anomalies, which is the departure from normal. In this case, we are going below average, suggesting that we are starting to set up what could be a potentially active Atlantic hurricane season with no El Nino, uh, which no El Nino is certain to develop this year. We are 100% confident that there is not going to be an El Nino for the peak of the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season. In fact, we could be looking at La Nina conditions, which has the opposite effect of El Nino across this region uh, by the time we get into roughly next year or by the time peak of hurricane season arises. While in the main development region of the Atlantic, we have cooled off some spots, but the majority of the Atlantic is still running about a half degree to, in some cases, about a degree above the long-term average across this region and really across the whole entire uh, Caribbean with a positive AMO starting to set up across this region, which is the Atlantic multi-decadal oscillation. And when you get into these positive phases, which we have been over the last about decade or so, we've really seen the hurricane seasons be fairly active for the most part, except for like 2013, 2015. We've not really seen those significant hurricane seasons there because of El Nino's, but for the most part, this upcoming hurricane season certainly looks to be busy. And this is from Dr. Klogspot over at Colorado State University. We have continued to see the signs of what could be a pretty active hurricane season. This is just another way to take a look at the sea surface temperature anomalies. You can see right off the coast there, the uh, Cabo Verde Islands, we have that warm area with some cooling indicated through here because of, of some eastern or yeah, some easterly wind trades across this region. But we are going to be setting back up in a pattern for these westerly winds, which will continue to warm and slow the trades down here and continue to provide a conditional warming support, which again, this could be looking again for a pretty active Atlantic hurricane season. And you also notice here across the uh, Florida Keys, uh, the, Cu the Cuba region, and also the Bahamas, Grand Bahamian Island, certainly looking above, much above the long-term average there. And this is just the ACE index, again, looking at everything in terms of what the actual sea surface temperatures look like. And again, for the most part, we are running pretty well above the long-term average, uh, about a half a degree or more above the long-term average in spots. So what you've all been waiting for is the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season prediction. This was just released by me uh, by today on the 4th of May, 2020, about an hour ago. And these are my predictions, uh, suggesting an above average season, about a 48% chance of an above average season, about 39% chance of a normal season, 9% chance of a hyperactive season, and below normal season, we have dropped that down all the way now to 4%. And for the numbers, we crunched the numbers. The higher end is the orange and the lower end is the blue. For the name storms, we are forecasting 14 to 18 name storms about eight and a half to about nine hurricanes about roughly about nine hurricanes and about five um and on the lower end of that so from about five to nine hurricanes and major hurricanes we are running at about two to four major hurricanes so certainly uh some indications that we could be seeing an above average season and that's kind of what has played into the overall trend of these numbers being produced. The next update will be on June 1st of 2020. Taking a look here, this is from the University of Wisconsin website here. We are taking a look at the wind shear again for the most part. Uh, the Atlantic is running at about 70, 60 to 70 knots of wind shear, so not really favorable for any sort of tropical development at all. As we had expect this time of season, it is only May the 4th, and again, we will start to see these Westerly winds abate over the next coming weeks and months, and we will start to see that really get ready to go for June 1st. And again, storms do not listen to a calendar. We could be seeing some early season activity this year, or we may not. Again, things are just up in the air, and we will really have to see. Across the Eastern Pacific hurricane season, which starts here in a couple of days on May the 15th, 
we're starting to see that area of favorability begin to kind of really open up across a small portion of the eastern Pacific, but for the most part, we still have these westerly winds that are carving across this area, really stopping any favorable chance for any hurricane development. And taking a look real quick at the lower 48 weather, we have an enhanced risk for severe storms today across portions of Oklahoma, northwestern Arkansas, and south in the southern port of Missouri. And taking a look at the latest radar there, we do have a brand new tornado watch for portions of those areas across there with a couple of tornadoes likely even one severe thunderstorm right now uh, just north of Tulsa, Oklahoma and a severe thunderstorm watch back out towards the east for some strong damaging winds. Stay tuned to the latest forecast and again we will have the latest information back here on Thursday for the next edition of the off-season hurricane outlook and discussion. Have a great day everybody and be safe.